message yung pastor sa akin niya. Kung yung testimony, daw yung pulpa ang muna yun. Okay, so, um, testimony ko gali about sa God's faithfulness and goodness sa NCF. Uh, it was 2011 when this church was uh, founded. As I remember back then, the building was bare, dusty, almost dilapidated na. And uh, when NCF uh, was starting, there were only few people who attended church every Sunday. Uh, actually, most are families. And then we have only plastic chairs and we have to be very careful sitting on that chair because it's easily, you know, uh, it uh, breaks. That, yes, it easily breaks because of one's weight. So, kung doon mag at ito video, pag mabigat ka, medyo yung pag-upo mo, parang daanin mo lang yung sarili mo, pag-aanin mo, <laughs> parang gano'n. So, uh, and the floors weren't carpeted. We don't have any projectors, we don't have the uh, keyboard, everything. So we just photocopied the pay our uh, service uh, program. So and then, and then the only people who sang in the choir were families. Paulit ulit lang. Minsan uh, solo na lang parang may matira doon sa audience. <laughs> Minsan duet. Tapos kami lang ganon. Paulit ulit lang. This Sunday kamo naman si Lotchi kamo naman ano? Tapos paulit ulit lang. <laughs> so. Uh, and the same faces every Sunday. Uh, and then gradually, NCF grow in number. Through the word of mouth, inviting newfound friends. So that's why we also grow in number. And now it's been six years. And we can see God's grace and faithfulness. Amen. Through the years, people come and go. But even though some are passing, we really took the chance the opportunity to to share the word of salvation. But we have visitors, we uh, uh, someone, someone uh, share the word of salvation. So we wala hindi natin pinapalagpas yung the opportunity to share. And then our joy was immeasurable for those who accepted Christ and committed their lives in going through water baptism. So we were very happy for those people who really uh, committed their lives to Christ. And we have met different challenges. Some were so tough. I should not be emotionally. <laughs> I know. Uh, some were so tough that we cried together. And we're almost discouraged as members of NCF. We argued and sometimes you have different ideas, but then we respected each other, Yapon, no? And uh, but even though with these challenges and problems, We pray and then let God uh, take control of everything. It's like His will be done. Sometimes we do everything. No, we do. We we do everything para sa amuni sa problems. But then, even though we are doing, na it's His will yapon ang ma ma sunod or what's the best need para sa church. And these challenges help us to grow stronger, more prayerful, and be thankful even though it's bad times and good times. We're here. We're still here. So, ang mula na siguro ang mga testimony ko. Now, the the Lord is really working on NCF because. We experience, we experience this so tough, like, though hindi naging daw, though grabe naging daw ang discouragement sa atong tanan. But uh, sa akong fellow 
NCF members and those who are here. So I give this verse to you, Ephesians 4 to 3. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. So, <laughs> sa akong nga mga fellow members dito sa NCF, I know that sometimes we get offended. No? We get offended when we were rebuked from the Word of God. No? It's not nga mag magbing masama yung parang feeling natin or where we get offended ay, do na igok ka no? but uh, I think that uh, rebuking also means that we are growing we, ha we are growing para sa ginoo so kapasalamat kitko we are very thankful for having you here and uh, sa NCF members thank you so much for standing with us this is not for pastor. This is not for the people of NCF. Remember that this is giving your loyalty to God and not to people. So, kung ano man ang challenges, anything, problem that will come in the future, please stand. Hindi sa tao, kundi sa ginoo. So, thank you so much.